All right. So as I said, the first data product we're going to talk about is parameterized R Markdown. This should be really simple since you all, I know, have used R Markdown for homework assignments and, and other class um, you know, exercises. And parameterized R Markdown is very similar to R Markdown. It's really nice for reports that you find yourself rerunning for different inputs often. So a good example of this is if you have a data set that has different dates or different geographic locations and you're finding yourself going through your code and changing those inputs. So for example, if you have a report that outputs information for the year 2020 and, and maybe someone comes back to you and says, this report is great, what about 2019? Rather than going through each step of your code and recoding that 2020 to 2019, Parameterized R Markdown allows you to do that a little bit easier and with less chance for human error. So let me go ahead and flip over to my other screen here to show you what this looks like in practice. All right. So here I have a really simple R Markdown document. Um, it's using the data that you all are using for the in-course exercises today. And all it's showing is the total UFO sightings in Colorado. If you take a look at my code here, you'll see that it says Colorado in each of these places where it needs to, right? So we have Colorado in the title here. I've filtered in this code chunk to the state of Colorado. And then I've also written Colorado here in this you know, text output. If I want to change to Illinois in a normal R markdown, Illinois just being another example of a state, I have to go through and find each place where I've coded Illinois, right? And with perhaps a more informative, longer, complicated document, there is a lot of opportunity for human error here, right? Maybe I miss a filter, maybe I miss a piece of the text where it says, uh, says the state, and then I'm just in, in a whole mess and it's a total headache. So rather than doing that, I'm going to parameterize this. And so what that means is rather than having to look through my code to change my inputs, I will change one piece of my YAML header and everything else will change for me. So to, to make this a parameterized R Markdown document, I'll do two things. The first is add a couple lines to that YAML header. And the second is remove the hard coding. So with that first piece adding to the YAML header, all I'll do here is say params, which just stands for parameters. And then I'm gonna designate which variable I want to be parameterized. So I'm gonna say state, let's go back to Colorado. So now I've adjusted my YAML header, that's all I have to do. And like I said, now I need to remove the hard coding. So let's start with this filter here, rather than actually putting Illinois, I'm just going to write params state. And I got that right from this YAML header, right? We've got parameters and we've chosen state, param state. In the title, when I'm using text, I have to do something a little bit different. So I'm going to say R and then params state. And you'll see I have surrounded that in back ticks. And then exact same thing down here. So R params go ahead and run this. I might have made a mistake as most people do with code and we can always go back and troubleshoot that if we need to. Great, so now you can see we've rerun this for Colorado and everything has changed. So say, you know, now my teammate comes and says, awesome, show me California. All I have to do is change the state in that YAML header and remit this. Perfect. So this is a really simple report, but I'm sure you can see um, the application for other types of, of reports that might have more places that need to be modified or you know, more inputs that need to be changed around. So let me jump back to these slides here. Just a second. I'm gonna be jumping back and forth a lot, so bear with me here. Awesome. So this brings us to the first in-course exercise. With this, you'll do four different things. The first is to just read in the data. 
So again, the, the data is at that GitHub link that's on a previous slide. Feel free to go there and it'll tell you how to grab the data. Once you've read it in, you're gonna create a new data frame um, with observations in the United States. The current data set is worldwide, so let's parse this down to the United States. Once you've done that, use Lubridate to get the correct date class. And then you'll play around with parameterized R markdown using UFO shape. So just as, as I did with state in this other uh, parameterized R markdown, you'll do the same thing with UFO shape so that you can input the shape and output um, some sort of result. Like I said, all of my code is on GitHub. Try to do this without um, taking a look, but feel free to, to do that as well.